hello beautiful people it's in the room welcome to the channel today we're going to be checking this video and it's titled king charles open to a truth open to a truce with prince harry prince william will be crazy interesting we're going to be checking this video together let's check it out King Charles is reportedly open to a truce with his estranged son, Prince Harry, after receiving what's being described as religious, uh, well, figures rather, from religious figures, according to the man on Sunday. I'm joined now by uh, royal extraordinaire Angela Levin. Good evening, Angela. Hello. What's going on here? Who's he been receiving spiritual uh, yeah. advice from? from uh, clairvoyant, the, uh, psychics or no, rabbis? No. no, no, Archbishop of Canterbury. Oh. Now, the interesting thing is the Archbishop of Canterbury married Harry and Meghan. Um, and I was wondering, uh, Harry has a very great difficulty nowadays in actually finding someone he can actually talk to to get him to talk to his father, oh. right? So I wondered whether he actually asked the Archbishop to help him talk to his, talk to his father so that his father would talk to him. Um, the reason mainly that King Charles hasn't spoken to Harry is that he calls at just any old time. King Charles doesn't have any phones that he walks around with. And he needs, a, he's working hard, he needs to rest, mm. and he needs a treatment. So it's not necessarily um, very difficult. And he needs quiet and calm. And Harry has been on and been shouting at him, demanding this, determined to get that. So we have to think, does King Charles take advantage of what the Archbishop says to him and decides to see Harry because he is the head of the church. So as far as... What he gave. Do you think he's doing this for the greater good, for uh, a, a different intent or different interest? Because obviously, he and that's the successes, they don't respect the crown. But with this, if this, if any part of this is true, does he respect or does he have somebody he respect or he's just doing this out of the will that, okay, um, let us play nice with the family? Because that is the thing. Because we all know that there are some people that would have at least one or two persons that can talk to them. Because, I mean... Who is supposed to go to apologize to who exactly? This is the crown we're talking about. Who is supposed to go to apologize to who? Okay, let's even talk about it. Let's say father and son. Who is supposed to go apologize to who exactly? Because you hurt this person. So you are the one that is supposed to play the big boy card. If you respect the person, that hard. And I want to believe that there are some families that have had one or two issues before, or one or two issues, and they did settle it because they love, they respect their family. If you respect your family, you will. You're concerned. You think Justin Welby has suggested to the king that, you know, encouraged at least a truce with his son? Well, I think any priests, I don't think he's gone that far, but I think any priests try and help to sort out problems within families. You know, they can help sort it. They um, are very positive about people working together. And I think the King Charles is very worried about this, about what's happening but also for himself i don't think for a minute that this will work because harry um won't give in he won't compromise Wait, he's very determined not to do anything they they're short of money now he and megan are short of money so he might ask for that he might want to get um some of the th words that the king is saying so he can sell them and make money out of that um he could want to this he's, he's taken the government three times to um, say that he wants to be looked after mm. protected three um 24 7 yes and he's Curious. lost them 
all of them. But he's going on and on and on because he wants the top protection, not the one just under the top. And I think that he wants a lot out of it, but he actually won't give very much in it. And he wants to... But part of this may also be too much entitlement. Or what do you think? Because you want to eat your cake and have it. You want things to always go your way. You want things to go the way you want it. It's not supposed to be so. But why is that? Because, I mean, too much privilege, too much entitlement. And that's what we see. And exactly. This is even sad that we're even seeing this. Because obviously or ordinarily, people wouldn't have known. But what do you think? And he wants a big house. But we have to think, what will William think about this? William will be crazy about this. He absolutely wants nothing to do with Harry. How would um, the princess feel about that? Mm. She's been Thanks. ill. And she will um, feel that, uh, you know, Meghan has been so rude, Harry has been so rude. Does she want them around? I wouldn't have thought so. So oh, it's it's very very difficult. It's not simple, but I think we have to know from Harry and Meghan that they are going to behave and apologise. Okay, well that's uh, well, that's a bombshell revelation, Justin Welby. Um, you know, mediating almost between the King and his son. Uh, who knows what will happen? So many exactly. people watching this tonight will say, "Well, Harry doesn't deserve a second chance," but. Yeah. Uh, it remains to be said. Angela Levin, thank you. Appreciate thank you. being with us. And you're back with me next weekend? Next I Sunday? will, yes. yes. Thank you. Great stuff. Thank you, Angela. The question here is, can it be trusted? Or can they be trusted? Or can he be trusted? We understand it is family and lots of people are pushing and moving and say, oh yeah, um, the family should come to truth and should settle the feud because, I mean, just like other families, when there is feud and what's on, what not and all of that, sometimes the fight to make up. But in this case, do you think they can be trusted? These are people that they have, they can trust. Do you think they can? Let me know what you think. Do you think they are also genuinely, or they genuinely would want to end the feud, or they genuinely would want this, or maybe it is for some gain or something that they, are, they stand to gain? Let me know what you think. I'm sure tons of people have interesting things to share. I really love to share that. You can share the useful information you think might be really helpful. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe and all of that stuff. And until next time, see you in the next